Okay guys, so over the past few weeks, I have gone record hunting three times and I decided to kind of compile it into one video to share with you guys. Now the first place I went to was The Exchange, which is a buy sell trade place. They're kind of scattered all throughout Ohio. There's a few different ones I know of, but um, at this one I did end up finding a few things. I usually don't find anything there, but I love going in there and walking around. I think the way that they display things is just so pleasing and it's really cool to see all the rare stuff that they get in, even if I'm not really interested in paying those prices. Then I went to a local record store that a coworker actually told me about and recommended to me when I was buying a bunch of vinyl at work. They said to go and check this place out. So I looked them up on Facebook, looked at some pictures and decided to make a little drive out there. But it was super exciting to go there and I was genuinely so impressed with the diversity and the inventory that they had for such a small store. It really blew me away and I left with way more than I was ever expecting to get. Lastly, I went to a Target that had some clearance vinyl in the past and I decided to go back and see if they had anything left and they had a few and when I bought clearance vinyl, it was like an additional 50% off of the sticker. So I decided to go scan these and see what they were only to find that there wasn't a price. Uh, an employee informed me that they were 90% off and I was like, oh, okay, because they said that they weren't going to carry them anymore and they're not meant to be sold in stores. I don't know. But uh, I told the lady at the register and she just went ahead and did it. Alright guys, so I hope that you enjoyed this kind of compilation of record hunting over a few different trips and all the massive scores that I got. Let's get into what I ended up bringing home. Let's start off with what I ended up getting from the exchange. Now, you guys may have some exchange stores near you. They are a buy, sell, trade place. They take in things like Funko Pops and collectibles and they sell anything from CDs, cassettes, movies, vinyl to video games from all different decades. Uh, but I only ended up picking two records while I was there and I did trade in a bunch of stuff so I ended up picking these up as well as getting some cash to take home. The first record we have here is Weezer and this is OK Human, the limited edition splatter variant which is why I decided to pick this up. This was a trade-in I believe because it was already open but I got it for $15. What really sold me on this edition was the fact that it came splatter. So let's take a look at this thing. Really pretty picture. Oh my gosh. So this is clear vinyl with a splatter. Uh, it is a little like one-sided, you know, but it is the primary colors and it is gorgeous. I really wanted to pick this one up because a variant that I am looking for that is also rainbow splatter is the too rare to live, too young to die by Panic at the Disco. I've always, 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 always wanted the rainbow splatter of that and I never got it and I feel like it's going to be impossible to get now with their recent announcements so I'm probably never going to get that one so I'm happy I got this one. And then I was super shocked to find this. This is the Midsummer Original Score. Something that they do with their new vinyl is they put on the exchange stickers up here with the price, which this was $20, not bad. And they put a record sleeve on it, but they also fold it over and tape it so like you can't open it or look at it. So I don't know which pressing this is. I do scan everything on Discogs to kind of get a rough area for pricing, but Discogs pricing could be pretty wrong. Um, and also just to see what variants are out there for records that I may be interested in. So the standard vinyl is 
averaging at $40, last sold in December. But let me make sure. There's a pink splatter edition, which I don't think that this one is. A limited edition green, which is last sold for $111. But even if it is the standard black, $20 is half the price of what it's selling for right now. I've never seen this anywhere. I didn't even know that this existed, so I'm super happy to have this. And I think that this would be absolutely chilling to spin while cleaning. Let's see which one we got. Leave your comments down below and guess which one you think this is. But again, I'm happy with any of them. Green would be pretty sick though. <gasps> this is so pretty. So on this side. Oh, I don't even think I could show you guys that. There is some nudity on the sleeve and it is pressed on standard black, but I am perfectly okay with that because I prefer spinning standard black vinyl. So those are the only two things I got at the exchange. The exchange is very hit or miss. I have found some great stuff there that they underpriced when they did the trade-ins and got some records, you know, that were worth over $100 for like 25 bucks, which is insane. Target, can we talk about this 90% off record sale that I just stumbled upon. Um, I made a TikTok on this. If you guys follow me on TikTok, I do make uh, record videos on there as well as, you know, the other content like on my YouTube channel, just, you know, in a smaller, shorter format and a little bit more convenient. Stumbled upon the biggest score ever. The cheapest vinyl that I found in a retail store and I really didn't think that this would happen once I had that $5 Walmart find, which was insane. Less than $10 I got these records. So the first one we have here is Olivia Newton-John. This is physical. This is gorgeous. First of all, we love Olivia's in this household, clearly, but she's an icon. So this is the pink variant. Solid pink, very pretty. This was only $2.50. And I didn't pick up any extras. Um, because they weren't really selling for anything too crazy. I also didn't know anybody who was interested in this type of music, so I did leave a lot for other people to go ahead and get as well. I got two different Jack White albums. We have Fear of the Dawn. This was $2.10. And then this one, which is Entering Heaven Alive, which was also $2.10. They're standard black. Some pretty decent albums to have in the collection for such a great price. And they had multiple copies of these. And then the biggest score, I had made a TikTok when I went there and found clearance vinyl in the past. It was not 90% off at the time. It was like 75% off or maybe it was like 60% off. It was still a really good deal. I only got two albums then. We by Arcade Fire. So many people told me I should have grabbed this. This is usually like $35. So I got it for $3.50, which is insane. It's gorgeous. It's really pretty. It comes with a fold-out poster as well. And as a Hunger Games stan, I'm obsessed with this. It is pressed on standard black, so I'm not going to take it out. This was a crazy score. I honestly thought with how many people were commenting that I should have got this, that this wouldn't be there anymore. But the trick to the Target 90% off clearance is if you scan something in the price scanner and it pops up and says, store price unavailable, take it to your nearest Target associate. This girl hooked me up. I don't remember what her name was, but she was so sweet. When I told her what it said, she said, honey, these are 90% off. It means that our store is not gonna carry these. They're not in our system anymore. We're not gonna get any more ever at any point in time. And they're supposed to be like, you know, just gotten rid of. So they're 90% off. And she said, literally, she's like, target secret for ya. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage from here on out. This girl hooked me up. Scan it in the Target price checker because if you scan it in the Target app, it will just show you the website price, which is not accurate. Scan it on the actual Target scanners in the store. If it says store price unavailable, grab an associate, have them check it, and then they will tell you that it's 90% off. Insane. I can't believe I walked into that. I also got Disney Jingle Bell Fun. Super random. But this was only $6. It wasn't 90% off, but it was on clearance for $6. And I do love me some Disney. I thought that this was fun. I wanted like a Christmas vinyl. So I decided to grab it kind of randomly. And it is pressed on a pretty translucent red. All right, now the last 
record store that we went to and hunted around was actually a local record store. It's about the same distance as another record store that I do frequent. Um, however, their selection, they didn't have as much, but what they had was really good. I will definitely be going back to this record store after this first experience because I don't even know how this happened. Like, I genuinely do not understand how this happened. Um, I will be referencing Discog pricing, but again, Discogs isn't necessarily accurate. It just makes me feel better because I'm not trying to sell these. These are for my personal collection, but it makes me feel like I really got a great deal and I was also able to support a local record store. So first off, random, but I got Rush Signals. I'm gonna be honest, I really just bought this for the cover because it looks almost exactly like my very first Dalmatian that we owned and it just makes me really happy. It is super stained up. I mean, it is used. It's from 1982. Like, this is a 1982 pressing. It's pretty old, but I really wanted this and I looked it up on Amazon to see if I could get like a modern pressing just in better condition because I just want to frame it. And on Amazon, for some reason, they're like 70 some dollars. I don't know what's going on there, but I was like, okay, forget it. You know, it's got history. It's got a story. Let me just grab this one. So I grabbed this. It was $13. Speaking of Dalmatians, I did pick up the Walt Disney Classic Storybook and 7-inch vinyl. This is 101 Dalmatians. And this is one that I was missing. I do collect 101 Dalmatians, anything that you could possibly think of. And this is one that I was missing. So they wanted $10. I don't know if that was necessarily reasonable or not, but it is one that I was missing. It's one that I wanted in my collection. And again, supporting a local record store, I didn't know when I would find this again. I haven't been able to find it at any flea markets or like anything. So I just snagged it up and I'm very happy. Now the rest of these are all gonna be modern albums and they are actually from like R&B, hip hop. They're all pretty much the same genre, which is actually crazy. Until I got to this genre, I really thought that those were going to be the only things that I was buying. Holy smokes, if I knew what I was walking into, mm -mm -mm, honey, crazy scores here. I'm so happy. The first album we have here is Control by SZA. Super excited about this one because I've been listening to her new album. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I love her TikTok sound. I love her SNL skit. This girl has slowly wormed her way into my life and I am not upset about it and she's also stunning. So I was thinking about ordering this on Amazon and I was like, eh, I don't know, like, I'll think about it. And I went to the store only to find this for $25, keep in mind. It is the translucent green variant and I am obsessed with green. Green is my favorite color. This is the color of my car. And I'm obsessed with her, and it goes with the aesthetic of the album, and it was only $25. Next one we have here is Ski Mask, The Slump God's debut album. This was $25. Now, I had never seen this on vinyl. I didn't even know that this existed on vinyl, but when I saw it, I was like, okay, I kind of have to get this, right? I have so many memories of driving to Cleveland in the late hours of the night with my friend and she would be blaring songs from this album, which is not necessarily my instant taste when I think about like hip hop and R&B and stuff, but I have so many fond memories with this and it does have Juice World on it that I decided it was worth it for the memories. And when I saw how much this was on Discogs, I was honestly shocked. I don't know where this came out or like where you could buy this, if this was only on his merch store or something or like on tour, I don't really know. I decided to pick it up. I have not opened it, so let's open it, but I'm pretty sure it's standard black. I don't think that there's like any variants or anything of this. So there is a little insert and it is pressed on standard black. Next up was another record that I was really looking for and I'm so happy to have. It is Imperial by Denzel Curry, one of the greatest artists, released a fantastic album last year from front to back. Amazing. I was on the lookout for this, but I kept finding bootlegs, like pixelated covers. I knew they were bootlegs. I knew they weren't authentic from other record stores that I had been visiting. So I was waiting and I finally found it in person and it looks pretty clean to me. I did scan it on Discogs and it popped up. So I'm going to assume that it's legitimate and it was only $25, but this is a fantastic album. 
I probably listen to one or two songs off of this album every single time I get in my car. And this is also pressed on standard black and it came with a super cool insert. This looks crazy. But this was one that I was on the lookout for and I'm really, really happy that I was able to get it at such a great price and bring it home the same day. Now, the last thing that I found, which I also did not expect to find, was Vince Staples' Big Fish Theory on Picture Disc. Now, I'm not necessarily the hugest fan of Picture Discs. I think that the quality is not always there with these. I think these are great for aesthetics, for looks, for framing, but not necessarily for spinning and enjoying. Um, I always hate that they come in these plastic, clear plastic. I cannot wait for them all to transfer over to like the cardboard with this plastic in the middle just to give a little bit more sturdiness to these. Super excited to add this to the collection. I only have his Summer 06 album. I am looking for his self-titled, but I missed out on the merch store edition, so I'm hoping I can find that second hand very, very soon. I will take the picture disc version of this album. I don't think this is pressed anymore. I'm not sure what the standard goes for, but this was $38 for this double LP picture disc. I might play it once, but I think I'm just going to kind of leave it as is. This is such an iconic cover, and then there is other beautiful artwork on the other discs, but it is stunning, and even though it's in this clear plastic, it's in really good condition, and I'm so happy that I found this. And I just get to add it to the collection because I think it's wild. <laughs> if you guys saw anything throughout this whole video that you would have picked up, let me know what you would have grabbed in the comments down below if there were any crazy deals that I missed out on. Until then, I'll be back with another record video probably in a little bit. But uh, yeah, I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.